You used to dream of old Earth, didn't you? Bathed in gold and solemn blue. I intend to reclaim it now. From the spores and the ruin. Margulis, from your winter ashes, there has sprung a field of flowers. Conceived by me, germinated for deadly purpose. You used to dream of old earth, didn't you? Bathed in gold and solemn blue. I intend to reclaim it now from the spores and the ruin. It came to me like a proverb. Fight poison with poison. Cure this sick horde with the greatest of plagues. I will call her... Siren. Lust was my sin. But greed is the blight that weakens our steel. These industrialists have gorged on the harvest of our long war. Their mine drones. Their mechanizations toil in foundries remote. For what purpose? We must set watch upon them. baiting our snares with the worms of profit. Those kneeling at the altar of commerce will be returned to the void. For your consideration, Vorban. Fear is a weed snaking in the dark. And vines within the mind corrupting it. It germinates within tribes, dividing them. Your graces, we who are beyond death, have forgotten the simple power of fear. Let us now remember. simple thought of your own name inscribed upon a grave. Our harbinger. Our terror.
deathless winter has left us numb. Our wasted animal within, ugly and gaunt, hibernates beneath our shimmering beauty. Why do these warframes stir us so? They burn with our lost desires, lost instincts. Tenno tamed, but only just. and hunted as game, trapped and tortured, yet they remain animals. Less than their human seed, gnawing their limbs from the snare, devouring a banquet of suffering, obese with heat and acid and rage. That is why they will destroy us. These like-faced savages, these earth-worn mules, a vast, violent ocean at our command, yet they wither. Mired in mass steel and flesh, casting these hordes from gene molds and flock mines, we inspire nothing. Our demons of Void Womb must be different, unusual, singular. Crafted without caste, rules of the finest ore, Slender and queer. Sight without eye. Wrath without sound. Not a soldier, but a myth. Not a warrior, a spirit. Banshee. Greed and denial will seduce any destruction, even our own. We are blind to future consequence. Casting our debts on those to come. But what if now, the Grey Mother sought revenge? A brutal thorn. 
piercing the gushing ulcers of waste and industry. A new green sown upon sanguine ground. Fertilized with the blood and bone of its defilers. Oh, how you suffered to become this beast. Yet you laughed at me. Others writhed and raged in the vice. But you, you played the fool. And so it was that you distorted my design. A sanguine trick. A murderous comedy. But no one is laughing anymore. Except you. The mere vapors of your life. Shimmering still. Mirage. Ourselves. Consider us subjects. Those who gaze upon our cloud swept towers with simmering, violent envy. They hold still the old fears. Depth and darkness. The windless embrace. Give to fear a form 
and yet none. A vague hydra, a lobed monstrosity surging from the unfathomable. Reminding them who their gods are. Hydroid. When ape pounded flint on flint, some watched the sparks. Others merely danced. Our haunted creations will need drumbeats to drown out the throb of helmet's blood. Songs to harmonize the long scream. Anthems to elevate their butchery. But they are owed their struggle, as we are owed entertainment. Our grand finale. Octavia. Of all our sleek gargoyles, our void-born masquerade, how to honor the one who volunteered willingly, knowing the truth, whose little act of courage twinkled like a petty ayatan before our golden indifference. And Nihil cried, glass her for her presumption. Till the arch is rang with laughter. So be it. I shall encase you in crystal most fine. That the purity of your stigmatization might shard the sunlight itself. The unbroken. Gara. child adrift on strange seas for with time these starless currents black as morning may work a sea change and if one grisly dawn the sky should hurl you herald like back to earth remind us foundling of what we immaculate ones have lost. Diseases kiss may bring my festering demigod, my Nidus.
none of them truly understands how much I lost when I lost her. Nor by what subtle art my dead love now lives within another's gleaming skull. So tonight, we shall celebrate in her honor and mine. I shall unveil a new creation, a harmony of mistress and monster. Deathless companion, unsurpassed, blood raw in whip, claw, and fang. Cora. Harbinger, this revenant. 